Well, good morning from Tuskegee National Forest. I'm Aaron Bowman, W4ARB, and I like to operate CW, and I like to share it with you here on YouTube from time to time. So, this morning I'm using my Elacraft KX2, and I have not used this radio in a very long time. So, it used to be my absolute favorite radio until I got the ICOM 705, and it kind of ruined it for me. Um, it's a great radio. I know people love them. It's not my favorite. It's got some quirks about it that just kind of drive me crazy, um, mostly about the way it's built, not really the way it operates. I won't really go into those here. I'm not a radio reviewer, really, and uh, yeah, if you love it, it's awesome. It's good radio. It performs well. Um, also, using the Chameleon MPAS Lite. Um, just grabbed it because it's easy to set up. And it is plugged in here to the KX2, got the tuner on. So I'm gonna push the ATU button here in just a second and let it tune up and get on the air on 40 meters to begin with. So I'm gonna start out around 7.033. I've been listening, I haven't heard anything. Um, so let's we'll see if we can make some contacts here this morning. I haven't been out in a few days and, and I've missed it. But you know, life is, gets in the way sometimes. And, with everything that we've had uh, going on and being busy lately, I just haven't felt like uh, getting out and uh, you know, needed needed time for some rest and took that. So there's things that are more important than operating. All right. All right, let's get on the air. Let me push this tune button. Make sure I'm good. It's already 1.0 to 1. Okay. I'm at 5 watts, which that is A-OK -okay with me, and alright, 7.033, guess I should probably put a spot in on the Parks on the Air website, quota.app, add spot, 7.033, my park is US-4451. Okay, ready to put in. Even though I've been sitting here listening on this frequency for a minute, still gonna call QRL just to make 100% sure that there's nobody there. There's volume up. I apologize if the audio is not as great this morning as it normally is. I uh, seem to have lost the microphone that I normally use, so I'm not sure where it is. So you're just using the iPad uh, built-in microphone this morning. So hopefully it sounds okay, but it probably won't sound as good as normal. All right, so there's somebody right below me there. I'm going to move up. Let's try 7033.5. Turn my heater speed up a little bit. Sounds pretty good to me. Okay, update my spot. To dot five. Let's see if I remember how to do the. Uh, memory key. Apparently, I do.
phone is still on. Starting the speaker.
slow down a little bit. Surprisingly, I'm not being picked up by the RBN. All right, on that note, I think I'm gonna change bands. I'm gonna go to 30 meters. before I hit the ATU button. I don't hear anything. Spot here to pin one eleven.
nice and strong signal there, Dave. Good morning. That's a good strong signal from Virginia there, um, 30 meters. Perhaps 30 meters is in good shape this morning. 30 meters is my favorite band by far. Another Virginia.
I'll say one thing, Ella Craft knows how to program a keyer. I don't know what it is about their keyer timing or what, but it's really, really easy to key with for me. All right, so right now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One away from validating the activation. It's only 6.45 in the morning though. Might go up to 20 meters here in just a second. Why? Why not? Not really being picked up by RBN a whole lot here on 30 meters. According to the numbers, the solar flux index is at one, what was it, 170 something. 171, A index 15. Probably a pretty good day for the high bands from the looks of it.
I'll CQ a couple more times here. And if I don't get anything, I'm gonna roll up to 20 meters. It's one of the good things about the impasse, impasse light. There's no adjusting. It's not a resonant antenna. I mean, it kind of is, but it's because of a broadband transformer, so it is uh, rather lossy. But just mash the ATU button, change bands wherever you want. It's an antenna for convenience, is what it is, not necessarily performance. But it does work. I'll give it that. It works. I like to have it in my arsenal. So funny enough, the reason I haven't used much for POTA is for uh, the last year. Yeah, I had it set up as my main base antenna at home with the telescoping whip. Which the funny thing there is... Chameleon specifically says it's not intended for permanent installation. I put mine up and left it for about a year. Extended and everything in all kinds of weather and uh, wind and storms. And I mean, the whip would bend over a lot during strong winds, but never had any issue with it. I did have to take it down a couple of times and clean it because it did build up some like grime and dirt and stuff on it. But yeah, other than that, it worked just fine as a base antenna. Now I don't, I'm not saying I recommend that. I don't think it would last years and years that way. But yeah, I put it up, intending it for it to be temporary for a few weeks, and it stayed for almost a year. Now I've got a better antenna though, so I finally put up my uh, Hustler 4 BTV. Uh, is my main antenna for 40, 20, 15, and 10. And so that performs much better. It's ground mounted. Right now I've got 16 radials under it. I wanna get it up to 32 or 64. I just haven't gotten around to putting down more radials yet. I will. Um, and then I have a second antenna that is a, uh, it's a random wire, 60 something feet. I don't know how long it is. Um, and it works okay, but uh, I like to have that for the uh, warp bands mostly, so I can tune on 30, 17, uh, 12, because otherwise the you're not going to really get the um, Hustler to tune on 30 without the 30 meter add-on coil, and I don't have that, so. All right, I'm going to come up here. I'm actually going to go around the QRP frequency. 14.0, I'm going to come up to about 6.1 or so, there's this free spot up there, 14.060, 14.060 is the uh, QRP calling frequency, and uh, if, you, if you tune your radio to that, there's almost always somebody on 14.060 it seems, but um, I have pretty good results right around that range, so if you go 60, 62, 63, uh, it seems like people you know, are searching for folks in that area. All right, so let's come up to 61. I don't like to be right on 14.060 if I can help it. All right, hit ATU. Already a one-to-one. -one. hear anybody. Get this volume up. Start calling CQ, see if the uh, RBN picks me up pretty quickly here. RBN got me.
Man, that darn AGC artifact there is annoying. Menu AGC, where are you? Threshold. I don't remember how this stuff gets set. I don't know. Changed AGC slow. See if that fixes it. Nope. Get it back to fast. Threshold down a little bit. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, there's 11 contacts. 20 meters did the trick real quick.
All right, call QO, CQ a few more times. I'm gonna call it a morning here in just a few minutes. Let's see where RBN's picking me up just for the fun of it. Not very far. I keep thinking that it's somebody in between my characters. I know there's a way to set. There's a way to set the recovery. I think. I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> Don't remember. Oh well. I don't remember. I haven't used this radio in a long time. I think it's actually been about this time last year. Last time I used it. Maybe a little bit later. Maybe summer last year, I don't remember. It's been a while though.
All right, one more CQ, and I'm gonna call it. What the heck? One more. All right, I think that'll do it for today. All right, so I think I got 11 in the log in about 45 minutes of operating, so pretty slow. But I think a lot of that has to do two things. One is propagation. Uh, it's not terribly, terribly great this morning, but I really think the cause of why it was slow is the antenna. I mean, it's just, it's a broadband transformer. Anytime you see the words broadband, transformer that is the opposite of efficient there is no such thing as a broadband transformer that is efficient now that being said do I like them yeah I, I like antennas like the chameleon uh, impasse um, I, I don't have an issue with them but I, I want to you know be clear people should understand what they're getting you're not getting a high performing DX antenna when you buy something like the Impasse. It is a broadband transformer that sets up in a few seconds and it will make contacts. And it is less than three to one SWR all the way from 40 to 10 and six, um, fully extended with a 17 foot width, which is not uh, possible without a broadband transformer. So the efficiency uh, is what you lose in that trade-off but yeah they're, they're fun antennas especially I think they do better when you're not running QRP um, you're running 50 watts 100 watts then you're gonna do a little bit better than you will uh, running 5 watts uh, I actually turned up to 10 watts there at the very end just to see I did get a couple more RBN stations picking me up but um, yeah not really any more contacts but anyway well, I really appreciate you joining and coming along for this Parks on the Air activation. It was a little bit of a slow one. Only got 11 contacts in about 45 minutes of operating, but hopefully you enjoyed listening to the CQ calls because there was lots of them, uh, and I appreciate you watching. Uh, and uh, any comments or emails or anything like that that I get from you guys, I really appreciate it. That's really why I do this YouTube channel. Is because I enjoy getting to know other hams and talking to other hams that um, you know, are into radio and want to talk about it and that's that's the part that's fun to me I don't don't try to do this channel to grow a big number of subscribers and um, you know, I'm not really interested in in any of that I just like uh, you know, participating in the ham radio community um, and I appreciate if you uh, watch drop a comment and uh, be happy to chat with you. All right, with that, I will say 73 from W4ARB in Tuskegee National Forest. I'll see you in the next video.